It's 9.30 a.m. in the morning and we just got on a ferry to head to Peaks Island. From Portland, Maine, there are Adventure Islands, of which Peaks Island is the closest. It's about a 17-minute ferry ride and I'd say it's probably the island with the most things to do. Even just taking this ferry to Peaks Island was quite an adventure in itself. The views of the water were amazing and you got to see the glistening sun over the sparkling blue waters. First thing we did was rent a golf cart from Mike's Carts. It was $70 for 2 hours and they had a special promotion for $90 for 3 hours, which we did. 3 hours was more than enough to explore Peaks Island. Overall, we actually got to loop around the island twice, as well as get food in between. I'd say it takes around 45 minutes or so just to drive around the whole island, and that's taking a leisurely pace. I was awed by the views of this island. I honestly wasn't expecting too much, but I didn't expect to be surrounded by all of these calm waves. The majority of our ride was honestly surrounded by this water and I would really recommend just driving around the perimeter of Kicks Island. The inner portion is more residential and it's also fun to just drive around and loop around, but the main scene is on the outskirts of Kicks Island. Now if you don't want to do a golf cart like we did, oh look at these golden retrievers, then you can also rent a bicycle or just walk around. I personally think it'd be quite difficult to explore all of Kings Island just by walking, given that it's quite far and sometimes it can be a bit hilly. The same goes for cycling, it can probably be a little bit tiring, especially when you go towards the fall when it gets a little bit colder so it was overall just a lot more leisurely to do the golf cart but that might just be me we explored the inner portion of the island as well and got to see all the residential houses peaks island has some of the nicest residents everyone waved hi and smile when we passed by on our golf carts can you tell me why? I also did some seashell picking, which is something I haven't done since I was young. It was fun just looking around for all the different shapes and colors. So this area is actually right by the ferry, so it's pretty easy to access even if you didn't do a golf cart. Right next to the ferry terminal is this really long bridge. We thought it'd be fun to just walk across it and take a few pictures and look at the views from it. Afterward, about three hours later, we got right back on the ferry to head back to Portland, Maine. It was a really fun experience and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, comment below if you've been to Portland, Maine or if you're planning to go and you have any questions. Check out my previous video on Portland, Maine where I go over the must-dos and must-sees as well as the best lobster rolls that I had. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.